What's up guys, it's G, and welcome back to uh, another LBA battle. It's actually round 9 of uh, the LBA. I'm 4-4, four and four, so that's pretty cool. And this week I'm facing off against Josh, um, aka Squirtacular, owner of the Bolton Blastoise. And, uh, you know, not a whole lot to say about this one, except for the fact that uh, we had a trade earlier in the year, um, which sent Gen Gengar to him, and I ended up picking Thunderous, which is how I got Thunderous earlier in the year. But, um, unfortunately, 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 I would have to face Gengar again. And so this is kind of a battle of redemption for both Gengar and Thunders, if you kind of want to spin it that way. But anyway, looking at his team, he has a Seismitoad, which is more than likely physically defensive to take on Gyarados, because I would have to run, like, HP Grass or something to beat it, which would be weird. Um, then he also has Zapdos, which, um can actually avoid getting trapped by Gothitelle because it can run Volt Switch in each turn, which is kind of troubling, but um, that's his main defensive core. If I can break those down, Gyarados can have a fun time. Uh, same thing for Thunderous. I didn't bring Grass Nut this week just because I figured um, that Gothitelle could do the job perfectly fine of trapping this, or I could just wear it down with Gyarados, either one. He also brought Honchkrow, which is a pretty huge threat to my team, and... Uh, a life orb or choice band can be pretty threatening and then he also brought Gengar uh, which is I believe life orb three attacks and then he also brought bulky mega blastoise and uh, scarf Darmanitan um, looking at me I brought Dr dragon dance three attacks Gyarados choice scarf Excadrill um, mixed defenses Clefable in order to take on um, in order to take on your boy blastoise um, I brought thunderous which is Mixed, but it only has like eight attack EVs, which oak, which like guarantees the Oko after rocks on like 40 HP Gengar. I think I just wanted to like go to 40, and if I needed less, then you know, like I had it covered. Better to be safe than sorry. Also brought Weezing, and the reason I brought Weezing is because um, it can actually work pretty well in uh, taking hits from stuff like Honchkrow, just because it is pretty bulky. It can burn it, spread status, that's always great. Then I brought a Trick Toxic Gothitelle, um, because I knew if I like tricked Z Zapdos into something like Roost, I could just click Toxic and uh, pretty much get a free kill right there. And so, obviously goal is to trap stuff um, with Gothitelle, free up room for a Gyarados or a Thunderous Sweep, so may as well see how that one went. Also, Gyarados is a little bulkier than I normally would have it, just to take on Darmanitan, because that's scary. I end up bleeding with Gyarados because I don't want to get messed up by a, a Choice Scarf Darmanitan lead, which he does end up bringing, and uh, I just get the Intimidate off, and he can either go for like the Super Power, the Stone Edge, or the U-Turn right here, so I just decided to go into Clefable to uh, take either one of those, because he's already minus one. He just ends up going for the U-Turn and ran a Calc. Judging off that damage, that is definitely choice scarf damage don't know if it's adamant or jolly either way doesn't really matter i don't think drill can outspeed either way but now i'm put in a really unfortunate scenario because he goes out into gengar and i looked at my team and i said i gotta i gotta pick my fodder right here so i go into carl weezer um and i do not take the shadow ball very well at all and by do not take it very well at all i i almost got killed so um as unfortunate as that is, two life orb hits will get will put him in range of Thunderous's knockoff 100% of the time. So very very good for me. I can just go into that whenever, click knockoff, and uh, pretty much get a kill or get some utility, which is nice. Um, he ends up withdrawing, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal, and goes into his um, goes into his Zapdos. I'm actually running E Belt this week. Um, been really liking E Belt recently because it takes on a lot of stuff and doesn't get worn down as fast. But as you can see, he goes for the heat wave right here, predicting Excadrill. So I just fire off a safe T-Bolt, and I know that I can knock him out with another Thunderbolt, meaning, hey, half of his defensive core is gone, and Gothitelle hasn't even hit the field yet, which is great. He ends up going into Natsu right here, uh, which is his Darmanitan. And I'm going to switch out. I could T-Wave right here, but it's not really worth it yet. I go out into Poseidon, and uh, he makes the good play right here and goes straight away for the Rock Slide. It's going to get a good chunk of damage off, and even through the Intimidate, that does a lot. That's going to 2 it KO, but it doesn't really matter because I can uh, Mega Evolve and go straight away for the Crunch because... Um, at that point, I would have, res or not resisted Rock Slide, but it would have done nothing to me. So, um, I can just go ahead and fire off a safe crunch. Um, and this is actually going to be a, 
a really solid three hit KO in this thing, I think. Um, so I'm just going to stay in and fire it off because I know he can't really do a whole lot to me. And uh, at the HP that Gyarados is at, I know it can't really sweep from this point out. He just gets up his rocks, maybe predicting my switch to Gothitel. Um, but you know what? The it's gone. The defensive core is gone, which is beautiful for me. Um, because now it's really one less thing that I have to deal with. But he can continue to pressure me with this Choice Scarf Darmanitan. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out right here into my Gothitel. Because his defensive core is gone. I don't really need this for anything else. And he's going to go for the U-turn. Which, you know, it isn't bad that he didn't kill me. Um, confirmed Scarf damage. But... Um, Basically, it gives him another turn to go out into Gengar. Right here, I was really hoping he would say, oh, well, he may be Scarf and switch out, but um, I've been favoring Specs recently, uh, seeing off replays, so he decided to just stay in and knock me out. So I'm going to go into Zeus right here, uh, who is my Thunderous, and I can start just... Like, right now, I get a kill, because I can go for Thunderbolt, knock anything out on his team. Safer play may have been a knockoff, because it... Uh, could have gotten rid of this thing's item, but didn't end up switching out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to go for the T-Wave right here, sacking Thunderous, because um, at this point, it can't really do a whole lot with rocks on the field. He just ends up going for the Flare Blitz right here, which is, you know, it's fine. Uh, Thunderous did its work this match, um, was able to get rid of Gengar, uh, got rid of Zapdos, and uh, crippled this thing, because I can just go into this right now, click Waterfall, get a kill. Um, I knew he probably wouldn't switch out because there's no use in saving a paralyzed Scarfer, even if it does hit hard. And at this point, I have the game won. The only way I lose is if I choke. That is the only way I can lose at this point because I have mixed defenses Clefable, who won't be too it KO'd by any move this Mega Blastoise wants to go for. And it can't. I have enough bulk to where I live an adamant choice banded Brave Bird from Haunch Crow, which is nice. He just goes for the Aorus here right here, knocks me out, which is fine. And I go into my Clefable. Um, I have a chance to 2-0 him right here, and I make the good play right here, I think. Um, I end up going for the Calm Mind. And the reason this was a good play is because it gives me some insurance against this, and it also gives me killing power. Now, let me just stop it right here. The, the leftovers are like pause, but I don't want to show you guys what happens next. <laughs> Here's what was running through my head at this time. You know, he's going to stay in. Um, he can't risk me going for Moonblast and uh, Haunch Crow coming in for coming in and just dying to a Moonblast because he needs that to weaken me. I also have Drill on the back, by the way. Um, and, you know, in my mind, I couldn't see him predicting me to soft boil right here. I thought, I thought he would think that I would Moonblast, if that's making sense. Um... So what I opted to do was go for the soft boil, um, when in reality Moon Blast was my safest play. Hold up a sec. Sinuses are all sorts of messed up today, as you guys can probably hear, but um, my safest play was to Moon Blast, because after the Call Mind boost, he couldn't knock me out with two Scalds after Leftover's recovery, even if he got a burn, because I'm Magic Guard, and uh, would have knocked out the incoming Hans Crow, because as you guys will see, I do go for the... Uh, Soft boiled right here as he ends up switching out, and I know that I have enough bulk to live a choice bandit attack. Um, but I, at the same time, I was kind of hoping he was like Jolly Life Orb, maybe sub. Um, but as you guys will see, <laughs> this does a hefty amount and uh, will bring me down to 14 HP, meaning that he has one right here because I just go for the moon blast. Um, end up knocking him out, and at this point, he will outspeed me with, um, Blastoise, unless he, like, accidentally clicks Aura Sphere or something, he'd probably, like, crit me. <laughs> um, and Max Roll Earthquake from Excadrill will do, like, 48%, I think, so I have to get a crit to win, and as you guys will see, I don't get the crit, but very, very close battle, um, and even though... I lost this battle, I'm not as disappointed as I would otherwise be because I feel like that I had this one in the bag and I just made a bad play down the stretch, but I'm still in playoff contention, um, but you know, at the same time, um, a wise man once said, there is no room for satisfaction in the pursuit of excellence, so still a little frustrated that I lost this game, but you know, it's okay, uh, there's always round 10, 
and I'm still in playoff contention. So if you guys did enjoy today's uh, today's battle, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is how do you guys not choke down the stretch um, like I did right here. And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.